Hi, my name is Annie Campbell, and I'm a medical artist currently working at the Medical School of the University of Dundee. Today, I'm going to showcase to you some of the work that I've been doing with Sketchfab and how you can use it for your 3D models or teaching purposes. I'll also include works with my colleague, Emily McDougall, who is the medical artist from the dental school. So what is Sketchfab? Well, it's an online platform or website that allows you to upload your 3D models and virtual reality content onto an online platform, which you can then share. Using your university email, you can create a free Sketchfab Pro account by accessing sketchfab.com. What does it do? Once you've uploaded your 3D models, it allows viewers to freely navigate and explore your model in a 3D space. Here's an example of a larynx model that we recently uploaded, and it allows our medical students to understand anatomical structures that surround the vocal cords. Another great thing about Sketchfab are that the models can be shared on multiple platforms and also embedded on most websites. Here's an example of how it looks on Facebook. You can see that the interactive functionality has been retained. I feel that this feature greatly encourages others to use your resource. Moreover, the Sketchfab interface is responsive, which means that you can view and interact with these models on a mobile or tablet device. So let's take a closer look at Sketchfab. We especially like the annotation features that come with it. It helps with anatomical structures like this inner ear model and allows our students to understand spatial relationships of complex anatomy. It's so easy to use that you can add these annotations yourself once the model has been uploaded. Here's a piece by Emily where she's added an animation to her Sketchfab model. It's a really cool feature that's been incorporated into their viewer. Not only that, users can still interact with it whilst it's animating. Sketchfab also allows you to release your models under Creative Commons licenses, which is how we're able to collaborate with so many different organizations. Here's an example of a researcher 3D printing one of our models, and it's a pretty cool collaboration, I would say. You might be thinking, okay, that's great and all, but I don't know how to create 3D models. Well, that's okay, you don't have to. Sketchfab has recently rolled out a new feature called Collections, and it allows you to put all your favorite models created by other artists into a folder that you can refer to or share for your teaching purposes. Anyway, we've only touched the tip of the iceberg as to what Sketchfab can offer. To summarize, it's a great free tool, and it allows you to share and access 3D work. Use it to teach spatial concepts within a virtual space. Its ease of sharing and embedding promote what you do to a wider audience, and allows others to use your work as part of their teaching and learning. Its easy to use annotation features allows non-3D artists to also contribute to a project. And its options for licensing allows for great collaborations to be formed. <laughs>